We are one of the facilities, the government facilities, who are benefiting from the OBA program. We started using the OBA since 2007, and we deal majorly with antenatal mothers and family planning. We are receiving again the clients for delivery. Nowadays there are many, but before there were very few. Here in Bitoma, in this health center, it was very poor. In Antinat, we could get so many mothers, they come only once, one visit. After the first visit, they disappear. You get a woman, she needs a referral, but she doesn't have money. You refer a woman, we don't have money to get her to hire a vehicle to take us to the hospital. Right here, Tigoni Hospital is in a tea plantation. So what happens that the, our clients commute from different areas, like from Kikuyu Division, uh, Radi Division, Remuru itself, Kiamba, Gidongori. So it's a big area, not really our catchment area, it's beyond. We have been brought patients before the OBA came now from that area called Ideya. They have delivered, the placenta is inside, they could not tie, so she's breathing. If they are lucky enough, they will reach the hospital. If they are not, some of them could reach here very late and they are dead. We had so many problems with mothers and sick people around this area. And this is my home area where I saw that there was need to put up a unit to help my people. So I felt I should put up a, a clinic up this area and it has really helped our people. In maternity, we have ensured that we have bought the heaters, we have bought the portable lights, we have ensured that the curtains are all over. Each and every cube is having its curtain. In a way that the clients are being attracted, it looks like a private facility, not like a, a public facility. So, so far, since we started using the OBA money, we have really improved and uh, our capacity of clan uh, is very high. On Saturday, we had nine deliveries. This place was full and the floor was also full with the, with the mothers and other mothers who were waiting in labor. Normally, we admit more than uh, those beds we have. We have about three rooms. One for those who have undergone cesarean sections. The second one uh, is for mothers who are waiting to get babies. And the third one is a postnatal ward or where people have delivered. Right now, we are planning to put a nursery for babies. So we have been given that money. We are able to keep the babies warm. We are able to give mothers when they deliver, not only the OBA ones. After OBA initiating the program, we request that program to continue because we are going to face this, the, the same problem, problems we had before OBA. I can say OBA has moved us to a very high level. We are able now to be able to take care of these mothers. We are able to tell them services are there, we have improved. So we are able to reach them, these mothers.